Okay, we have a little unboxing video here today and a spray test of something that I'm trying out for the first time, which is the Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze, okay? Uh, I wasn't quite sure what this was um, used for, but I've used the Krylon Crystal Clear, the UV um, resistance sprays, and I've probably used a Krylon um, spray fix before, but I don't tend to think that this type of thing is designed for um, paper applications, but it can be used on it. It was, I don't know, in the description as far as one of those surfaces that this was fine for, but I, I tend to think that if it's really thick, it's probably meant more for, you know, things like uh, the ceramics, um, kind of more three-dimensional um, projects and whatnot. But this was on sale, and I've been wanting to try out some new um, types of acrylic sprays, and it's really too windy to barely be doing this ideally right now, but um, I don't think there's any other way around it, unless I get up super early uh, in the morning and do it, but um, I've been wanting to get these pieces back to Carolyn, and I thought this um, the spray here would be perfect for that. Now normally I'm using um, spray nozzle for this, but I'll just use it with the uh, traditional little switch here on this, and let's see how it goes, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see if we can zoom in here. All right, I'm just hoping that as I get spraying this, um, I don't have the, uh, the piece blow away on me. You can see it's still flapping around. Like I said, not ideal conditions whatsoever, but... We'll just have to make do here. Let me try to block off some wind here a little bit. Okay, so shake up thoroughly. Standard um, spray paint um, type of uh, process here in terms of uh, keeping a good distance and shooting in short bursts as opposed to you don't want to start spraying directly onto the piece like this and have it kind of puddle up like that. So, And again, I'm really unfamiliar with this one, so that triple thick aspect of it, um, I really don't want to have like these um, runs and drips on um, the surface here. So, Okay, so just in general, um, this is a dye-based ink on uh, glossy cardstock scene right here. Dye-based inks are the ones that would stand to, stand to benefit the most from um, an acrylic uh, spray protective coating, but where there's that kind of frosty pigment ink application of that um, kind of white translucent layer, that would be subject to disappear, so we want to be really careful about the interior of this, okay? All right, now, where it's just all dye-based inks on the base here, I think I'll start down there. Just upon initial kind of visuals here, I don't, it doesn't seem like so extra thick, you know, but if I, you know, really laid into it and gave it a, a thicker coat, I guess I could see that. Well, I, I don't know, I guess I, I guess I can see it. It is kind of thicker. Yeah. What's interesting here, too, is sometimes when I hit things immediately, I can see the uh, instant um, value and intensity um, increase. Um, but this one, it seems like as it sits here and soaks in a little bit more, um, I can see that increase in the intensity in some of the blues there. And the increase in value in terms of the dark um, areas. So, and <laughs> just in terms of olfactory, man, this stuff really smells quite different than um, the other sprays. I, I don't know if there's like a, a different, I, well, I guess there's a different chemistry for sure, but um, what that is, I'm not really quite sure if it's they're using like in a different uh, acrylic or whatnot. Okay, this one right here is alcohol inks, okay? And a ton of pigment ink on this one. It really changed from um, when I was working on it, um, wet 
to when it dried, it looks quite different. So we'll see what um, changes uh, take place when, with a spray. Let me do... Now, I really have to be careful around all that pigment ink. All that white in there, that kind of mist, is uh, really um, subject to uh, disappearing, just as if I was spraying... Um, if people are familiar with spraying chalks or pastels, you can lose those um, highlights because they become uh, more transparent. Um, than translucent, okay? It's really bringing back the colors. What's interesting about this one when working with alcohol inks, I was wondering this. When I first worked on it, it looked much lighter on in here, but then when it dried, it looked darker. So, I don't know, this is one of those few instances where um, drying looks darker. So a lot of times um, when you're working with dye-based inks, they look lighter when um, dried, but the uh, alcohol inks are a little bit different. Okay, so I am losing some of that um, pigment ink type of effect, but I'm willing to lose some of that to regain some of the uh, transparency of the alcohol inks and regain some of that those lighter um, values in here. And then if you spray over this and you lose some of that, what you can do is you can put an extra layer of white pigment ink right over the top of this um, uh, acrylic layering and to build it up a little bit more and then you can spray it with a really thin coat afterwards so you can sandwich layers of pigment ink in between layers of acrylic too. I don't think I'll be doing that on this one because I'll just try to be careful about that but I don't know that looks pretty good to me like these areas right in here. That I don't know that really surprises me about how much lighter and more vibrant um, you know the changes in um, hue are very apparent there. Okay, now it's a really super, super dry day and warm where I am right now in Southern California. We're at 90 some odd degrees today, so these would stand to dry probably very quickly, but I can tell they just they are drying a little bit slower than it would be had I sprayed this, I think, with, you know, just a standard Krylon Crystal Clear or a, um, a UV-resistant um, uh, spray. Okay, now this one right here, everything's vibrant already, so there's very subtle um, pigment ink layers in there, so I'll be try to be careful about that. This one doesn't need to be done too much. Okay, I, spray I probably should have sprayed from right to left to give a see if we can tell the difference. Let me spray down here in this green and we'll see if we can see a difference between this side and that green over there which are roughly the same kind of intensity. Oops, I sprayed over there. <laughs> it's really fun kind of... You, you, people should see this um, glaze as almost like a second or another medium that you're using with your um, inks and whatnot, you know, it could be one of the most important. Okay, gosh, look at that. Can you see that? Now this is gl glossy cardstock already, but with the layering of media on there, it becomes less glossy. But this is, this is pretty nice. I don't know. This might be my go-to glossy uh, acrylic. It's really giving a well, I guess it's what it says. It's triple thick. So, that is really quite nice. On this one more than uh, the others, I, I think it's more apparent because I was able to give it more liberal coating of a uh, spray because it wasn't, you know, there weren't so much um, delicate areas. There weren't so many delicate areas with the, uh, the white uh, pigment ink in there, so. But that looks really nice. Okay, let's see if we can see some big changes here. I won't go into too many more, because I want to get out of this wind here. Okay, now this one right here, let's do that. Um, let's spray it on the, uh, on the left side and see if we can see a pretty big change. Not a big change, huh? It depends what inks you're using. Some of them really dry to kind of a dull sheen. You can see it quite a bit, though. Let me see if I can tell the difference. If you can tell the difference between the left and right side, let's take an. I'm talking about in terms of the uh, colors of ink. Yeah, 
it, it's interesting though. It's like I said, it, as this soaks in a little bit more, like it, the other sprays are more instantaneous. You can tell the difference, but this one, it kind of has to sit there. And, okay, I think this is what it is. It's it's thicker, so it's taking more time to penetrate the medium um, that's been applied. So it takes a while to get down to those other layers of transparent inks that we've used on the scene. Yeah, that's really obviously uh, much brighter and uh, more vibrant there. Okay, let's see. Let's watch that. I'm not gonna sit there for too. Long. I'm not. I'm not talking like it doesn't take like too long, but yeah. All right, over here I got a little um, kind of drip right there, so I guess you really have to be careful about that. But that looks pretty good in terms of a spray. You just have to kind of um, adjust your uh, methodology if you're familiar with using these um, different types of inks on your uh, scenes. This one's really dulled out. It was probably a lot of a memento and um, distress inks on here. Okay, which I love, but on glossy cardstock, when you use layer over layer of them, they dry to a dull sheen. They're not fading out, all the color is there, but you just have to uh, kind of reinvigorate. Now on this one right here, the um, contrast between the um, probably versifying, yeah, the versifying black imagery in the foreground and the background is more profound because the background kind of got dull with the uh, dye base tanks. So we're going to get this um, um, intensity and value increase here, so the distance between these branches and the background aren't going to be uh, as extreme, which isn't great in some respects, but we need kind of continuity in this piece and um, an increase in the uh, intensity of uh, those colors, because that's what this scene was all about. It was all about the color intensity, but, you know, that drying to a dull sheen. That's okay, though, because we have these sprays, and I'm always recommending you kind of spray the scenes anyway. Okay, now let's watch that one. So that between the, uh, the left side and the right side, look at that glow happening right in there. And look how dull it looks over here. You can't even see some of the yellows over here, but that yellow and that um, glowing kind of a... Uh, um, transition, color scheme transition in here is really apparent. And then I used alcohol inks in here and that spraying it over kind of incorporates that type of alcohol ink texturing um, better with the uh, everything else in there. Okay, let's spray the rest of this. It's getting really windy out here. I gotta get out of here. If you spray these and the wind um, kind of kicks up and this thing falls on the ground, what happens is you get a bunch of, like, you know, dust and dirt and lint or whatever, and then it dries right into the uh, scene. And sometimes I've had these blow into other ones where it lands on top of a, another scene and then it's, um, you know, <laughs> they're stuck together and you can't really pull them apart without peeling off some of the original surface there. So, all right, so uh, my review... Of this triple thick is that it works really good. I am getting a lot of dripping here though, so I'm definitely not spraying uh, properly. I I need to give it um, uh, more distance in between the spraying. I don't know. It's not just double. I guess it's triple. So it's really quite thick. But I do like the uh, the end result. Boy, that's even sticking to this uh, door there. I don't know if you can see those little drips there. Yeah. Which aren't really too big of a deal. That's what it looks like, you know. If you mount this on a piece of paper or something like that, it's not going to matter too much. But I do like that glowing kind of intensity that we can kind of um, reclaim um, from the look of a freshly stamped piece. Okay, I'll get down to some more um, spraying with this, and we'll do some other tests maybe with the uh, with the UV resistant clear and um, some uh, matte sprays like uh, workable fixatives as well. Uh, in the near future, so uh, the triple thick crystal clear glaze works pretty good, and uh, I don't know, it's good to have in my repertoire. I bought 
even bought two of them, so <laughs> they were just so inexpensive for some reason uh, on sale. It's like a 60% off. So you might want to check that out on Amazon. Okay, thanks for watching.